Hello, welcome back to my bench. Uh, as mo some of you guys know, or most of you know, that um, I do a lot of work uh, through my little business on uh, broadcast equipment. And one of the things that I uh, am fix is um, STL, Studio Transmitter Links. And those are generally, at least around here, in the 900 megahertz range. So I needed something to be able to take a tap off of those and go into the spectrum analyzer and see how they were going rather than just a, uh, you know, a, a antenna stuck up in the air <clears throat> and uh, loose coupling. I wanted something more direct, uh, more, you know, a fixed, sure amount. And a few years ago, I bought this 30 dB uh, directional coupler for like not very much money and was just hoping that maybe it would be pretty good and I have used this uh, several times and found it to be uh, from what I could tell pretty good but I thought I'd give it a test and when I did I would show you guys uh, what it looks like here so um, if we look at on the uh, you know this is my web purchase uh, you can see that this was on uh, June 23rd 2020 and it is an N-type female 50 ohms RF coaxial directional coupler from 800 megahertz to uh, 2500 megahertz, uh, 200 watts. Um, it, it was only uh, $12.59 and was free shipping at the time. This particular seller is not selling them anymore. Uh, but you can find them online. I don't know if they're <clears throat> exactly the same brand or whatever. But this, uh, it, you know, I want to just do a quick thing and find out if we, uh, how this thing, how well this thing actually works. And we're going to do that using the uh, Spectrum Analyzer. Uh, so you can see I've got the Spectrum Analyzer set right now with... Uh, what HP calls uh, source, uh, source amplitude, uh, which it basically turns on the spectrum analyzer. I've got it set right now uh, at 0 dB. If you look um, look up in the top there, it says, uh, where is it? Uh, 0 dBm for source amplitude, which is what I want. Uh, I've got a marker right now set at 400. I just came up that way. And we're doing full span uh, from 0 or 9 kilohertz on this up to 1.5 gigahertz uh, with a center frequency of about 750. What I'm going to use are these three pieces. Let's get back here. Uh, I've got these three pieces, and we're going to take this out of the box. I just keep it in the box so I can see it. And this is um, this is the little the little uh, device right here. It's um, I don't know D, -D O N G Z H O U <laughs> is the company, and it's D Z R five three O nine two five dash fifty. I put that number in, and I didn't get any any information on this at all. I didn't find it on eBay. But I know I bought it on eBay, and you could see it before. Uh, what you do is you put a signal in here. Your signal comes out here without being majorly affected. And you have a tap right here, uh, 30 dB down to go to your spectrum analyzer. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to plug this onto here. Okay, right there, that's a dual male. Uh, I'm going to put a termination, 50 ohm termination on the other end of it. I'm going to screw this into the uh, generator output of my uh, spec an, my spectrum analyzer. And I'm going to take this out to the input of the spectrum analyzer. And uh, I'll show you a picture of that here in a minute. But let me hook this up real quick. Just, uh, just hook it up, and then we'll take this guy, and we'll hook it up here, and we'll hook it up there. 
and then we'll go back to the uh, spectrum analyzer which I think I can do full screen can I not oh, pretty much full screen that's as much as it'll put out and you can see if you look at it here the uh, it's showing a bounce from uh, zero on the far left hand side or it's nine kilohertz and it rises up slowly to um, you know to that one point up at the top uh, you can see that my reference is zero dBm with an attenuation of uh, 10 dB and up on the top right at my marker which is 461 megahertz at the time we're looking at 33.24, which would be the 3 dB down point. That was luck. I just happened to be there. Okay. And uh, let's move. Let's. Uh, wrong. Okay. Uh, let's go set the marker. And we'll move the marker across to right there. And if you look at the top, you can see it's 30, 30 dB down. Uh, which is exactly what it says in the package. So if we go back over here, we take it down and see there's its minus 3 dB point is uh, 4, what, 473. We keep on going. Once we start hitting here, we're, we're out of tolerance at 35 dB. And as, if you go down to this big dip on the bottom, right there what is that so seven and a half whoops looks like it's about about seven and a half megahertz and it's 58 db down so it's eh, for 30 db it wouldn't be any good at um uh you know to be used for <clears throat> bright or for the seven like 40 meters what's that 40 meters so i wouldn't be any good uh, but once you start getting up into, oh, around 130 megs, you're at 40 dB, and you keep on going. I mean, it would it would still be good for use, but to drop it, but it wouldn't give you the 30 dBs you're expecting until you get up into the uh, around 500 megahertz. I'm actually kind of surprised at how good this thing does work. It's uh, it's flat from. Uh, you know, f from about 690 or 700 up to as far as this spec end will go at 15, 1.5 gigs. So that's pretty good. And for $12, including shipping, uh, I'm happy. That's not bad. Well, there's there you go, guys. That's a quick take. If you need something um, like this, it, it's um, cheap. It was reasonably inexpensive, and uh, it seems to work very well. It definitely, um, definitely does what it says it'll do on the, uh, you know, for the from that seller or this brand. But it's 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 good enough for me. Hey, now I know. Now you know. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, to subscribe, and uh, if you want to support me on. Uh, Patreon, that'd be great too. It's uh, a uh, patreon.com slash AERV blog. Thanks for watching.